जियोलॉजिकल सबस्पीशीज एंड एग्जांपल्स लेक्चर आउटकम सो बाय वाचिंग एंड लिसनिंग टू दिस लेक्चर स्टूडेंट विल नो अबाउट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सबस्पीशीज लाइक जियोग्राफिकल सबस्पीशीज टेंपोरल सीजनल एनुअल सबस्पीशीज इकोलॉजिकल सबस्पीशीज जियोलॉजिकल स्पीशीज एंड देयर एग्जांपल्स सो टाइप्स ऑफ सबस्पीशीज लाइक सम वर्कर्स लाइक एडवर्ड इन 1835 named some species definitely uh, uh, what were the basis for their naming so the differences or the basis uh, for the subspecies naming definitely were morphological like morphological subspecies ge geographical and because of ecological characteristics and these are like um, for example the first one is geographical subspecies so what are geographical subspecies now these are synchronic they are present uh, or they like mature or they interbreed at the same time synchronic mean at the same time and for a specific population mean these are uh, the, the, the the populations the sub populations of the main population or these are the sub species and for specific populations which are geographically or sorry which are isolated but make geographically during their mating time so actually geographical subspecies are those species which are synchronic in for specific populations but they are isolated macro geographically mean mean they are isolated uh, by a very huge uh, barrier so they are very far away from each other macro geographically they are isolated when they during their mating time so because of this isolation at their mating time they cannot access to each other to interbreed but the members of these two populations will interbreed if you give them a chance to interbreed mean if you bring them close together if you bring them if they are sympatric under natural condition they can interbreed but they are geographically isolated and they cannot interbreed so such species are known as geographical subspecies example is indian leopard panthera pardus fasca persian leopard panthera pardus sexy collar so these are like panthera pardus are the generic in the specific name and the rest of the names the third name is actually the sub specific name but the jistan leopard is the panthera pardus sandica and kashmir leopard is panthera pardus milardi so now these leopard they are macro geographically isolated so they cannot interbreed at the time of breeding but if you bring them close if they are sympatric and in nature condition they can interbreed um another type of so, so this is indian leopard and this is persian leopard okay, so this is the these are the leopards so species of leopards uh another uh, is a temporal subspecies so what are temporal so these are sympatric infra specific populations which are temporarily isolating isolated during the mating season now like uh, they are sympatric they these species they are sympatric they are living in the same region they are not geographically isolated these are infra specific populations but they are temporarily isolated during their mating season but whose member would cross breed freely if the population would become synchronic under natural conditions so their mating time is not synchronic it is allochronic that's why they cannot interbreed because some breed in early season and some the other population breed in the later season not in the same season if both of them mature in the same season they will breed but as in nature they are not maturing at the same time 
that's why they cannot interbreed for example like this american tort and the forward uh, flower torts flower start uh, actually they are closely related species they are subspecies but the american tort mates in the early part of the summer while this flower uh, flower start tort mate later in the season and that's why they are temporal species so just uh, give me the example uh, with this uh, the help of a picture this is rana aurora which breed in january to march and this is rana royally which breeds later in march or march and may so now they are like uh, their breeding time is different they are temporally isolated so if they both of them if they these mature in the same time they can breed but actually they cannot interbreed because one breed in january to march and other march to may so not existed existed at the same time that's why they cannot interbreed and then there is a seasonal subspecies so if two distinct sympatric population you know two different but sympatric mean living in the same area population not geographically isolated with the given species are composed of individuals which mature at different respective time during the same calendar if in the same calendar the individuals mature at different times not in at the at the same time so they can all interbreed one matures in one season and other mature in another season so they cannot interbreed and this is known as seasonal subspecies now for example one uh, uh, and one group of individual they uh, mature become uh, uh, mature in spring and the other in fall with no period of time during which reproductive forms of both teams are coexisted so that's why they cannot interbreed and such are known as seasonal subspecies the interbreeding cannot occur between the members of the respective population and such groups are known as seasonal subspecies annual subspecies so uh, uh, again if the members of one distinct population within a given area as a sympatric population they mature at different years a different year from those of another population of the same species then the respective population are called in the species subspecies mean the mature forms are, are not present at the same year one matured at one year and another in another year so not present and not uh, coexisting in the same time and such species are known as annual subspecies then there is geological subspecies so geological subspecies are actually these are the populations which function during different geological times and have no absolutely and have absolutely no chances of becoming synchronic so for example if there are two populations now there maybe this is a bit technical like geological mean the history of the earth from the day the earth created in then the life came on the earth until this day this history is known as geological history now in this geological history if two population are not present at the same time they cannot interbreed for example there one one of their population was present in triassic era and the other was present in jurassic era so they are not synchronic and that's why they have no chances absolutely no chances to interbreed because one was present in one era and another was present in another era so they cannot interbreed because they are like synch not synchronic they are allochronic not present at the same time at the same geologic time so such species are known as geological subspecies then there is ecological subspecies so there are distinct populations which are macro macro geographically sympatric so in the previous uh, uh, geographic uh, the, the, the geographical subspecies we discussed that macro geographically isolated now in such cases an ecological subspecies the two distinct populations or many population two three four five populations they are macro geographically sympatric mean they are sympatric but not that sympatric that they are present at the same area 
they are macro geographically mean at a, on a large geography they are sympatric but still they are like macro geographic I mean they are they have some distance in between them but not like that of the geography like they were like macro geographically isolated so these are micro macro geographically sympatric but isolated micro geographically mean and on a huge geography and a large geography two three four or five population of a species are they are present they are uh, spread over that uh, macro geography but they are sympathetic macro geographically but actually on a micro level they are one is living in one habitat and the other one is living in another habitat for example if one like to use in a humid condition and another one like to live in a but dry condition so they are may, uh, still they are present in the same geography but micro geographically they are like isolated from each other so that's why they do not interbreed because they are micro micro geographically isolated but if you bring them together micro geographically under natural condition they can interbreed so such species are known as ecological subspecies then there is a uh, polytypic subspecies so now the subspecies composed are composed of widely separated widely separated but phenotypically identical populations now subspecies is actually composed of widely separated but the thing is they are phenotypically identical populations i mean these subspecies they have widely separated over an area but phenotypically identical populations they have phenotypically mean morphologically the identical population and such usually identical population are genetically different so you may look at them that they are morphologically phenotypically they are similar identical but they are most of the time or usually you can say these population are genetically different and these groups which are phenotypically identical and sometimes or mostly they are genetically different are combined by taxonomist into a single taxon for simplification that is called polytypic subspecies and that taxon is called polytypic subspecies and these are the references and if you have any question uh, please ask